In this video, I've copied the basic button, which you should be comfortable with. Um, we're going to call this Arduino Latching Button dot video. So, it should only be done if you're fairly comfortable with what we've done so far. This is going to be more advanced and not required for the assignment, but it is a good um, tutorial on more advanced codes. So, I've left off with the code I had last time with our piece here. If I press the button, it turns on, blinks twice, and then turns off. Let's go to our code and let's simplify a little bit. We don't need this blinky thing anymore, so we're going to get rid of that. What we're going to do is we need to add a new variable called pool was pressed equal to false. And what's going to happen is when we press the button, before we start, we're going to take and say was pressed is equal to pressed. So at the beginning of the cycle, we're going to take the previous state and save it to the current the state and save it to the previous state, and then we're going to update the state with the digital read. Then what's going to happen is we're going to print both states, so we'll see both values. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if pressed and using double and sign, that's the way of writing and and C, was and not, or exclamation point, was pressed, basically not pressed, that's what sort of inverts, so if it was is pressed and it wasn't pressed before, that must mean the button just went down. We're going to turn the LED high. And then if it wasn't, else if and we're going to say, so if that's the case, now we're going to say else if not pressed and was pressed button was just released. So, button was just pressed on the first thing. That means we weren't pressed, but now we are. So we're gonna write high. And if we were, if we just let go of it, it's going to turn off. So actually, we're not gonna. We don't want that. We're going to take. And what well, we're going to do that right now, right now it's not going to be much different when I press the button. Oh, we forgot a closed parenthesis. Line 36, which is the very end. But we're seeing on line 28, it sees stuff before our semicolon thing. So we really need to make sure that parenthesis is closed. Start simulation. Now it's behaving just like before. But now we're going to change our code a little more. We're going to add one more thing. We're going to add one more bool called light. Toggle. And that's going to equal to false. So... If it was pressed, if we just went down, we're going to say light toggle is equal to not light toggle. And we don't need the other state. We only need the first state. So if it pressed is pressed and it wasn't pressed, then we toggle the light. So it should only happen on the first downstroke. And then we do, we're going to do a simple light, we're going to do digital right light or LED pin light toggle. 
Now, if we take and run that, and we show our sale debugger, it's showing, you should see, zero, zero. If I press the button, if I press it again, it'll turn off. So I press it, the light turns on, I let go, the light turns off. Or I press it again. So I press it on, turns on, turns it on, turns off. You could also, instead of toggling, we could increment a variable based on the press, because this will only happen on a single, on the first cycle where the button went from off to on. And we could also toggle the release counter with the other statement, but this will latch the light on or off. Again, this is more complicated. So I don't expect most of you to use this, but it might be interesting.